Hey, this is Elemental Mirror Podcast. How are you doing? I hope that you are having the best week. We are going to dive right on in to what blocks us from our own authenticity because today I've been film- filming some TikToks and through that process I realised that the majority of times we are afraid to fail publicly or afraid, like we're afraid of people's judgement essentially. We care too much about what other people think and so we're not willing to be flawed in front of people and that is like a huge huge wound and a huge collective belief system that really holds us back from our authenticity and from literally creating everything that you want in life you know If you spend your life constantly holding yourself back, then you're never going to be happy, to be honest. You're never going to actually feel free and feel like you can be yourself because you're essentially telling yourself that you can't be who you are because you have to adjust to what you think other people will think of you. And that is truly such a heartbreaking, sad space and mental state to be in and it's something that I've definitely grown up believing and lived by you know it's just caring what everybody else thinks of me and I'm really reaching a point now which is what I've said in a TikTok video is that I'm reaching the point now where I really need to allow myself to just try things like if I want to figure out what kind of videos I want to film then I need to be able to try different ones to get to that point you know and if I want to make music and make incredible albums I need to be able to experiment and figure out what my sound is and what kind of beats I like to make and all of that stuff you know like you need to allow yourself and give yourself permission to just create whatever it is and just try different things and then see what comes out of it and it doesn't matter if it ends up being terrible because that terribleness all of the things that you learn through that process of creating something that was terrible will then lead you to create the thing that you actually really love and really want to make, you know? So like, sometimes we just hold ourselves so much, hold ourselves back so much from being who we are and from doing the things that we love through fear of the judgments and the perceptions and opinions of other people but oftentimes they're not even thinking about you and if they are then they've probably got too much time on their hands you know and they're just not even living the life that they actually want to live either so really these are not the kind of people that you want to even have around you anyway or be worrying about you know but I wanted to pull some oracle cards because this is like a powerful message that has been coming through while I was filming TikToks earlier and I felt the call because I love this oracle card deck <laughs> to pull some and they proper just flew out. I mean the bottom of the deck first of all is boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? <laughs> And let's face it, people that care too much about what other people think usually have the worst boundaries, like, and not just allowing other people into your aura, but also jumping into other people's. This is something I had to learn for myself. Like, I constantly felt like other people were attacking me and other people were in my space and, like, sucking the life out of me you know and like trying to drain my energy and trying to judge me and put me down and what I realized actually not just that but I was also going in their space like I was worrying about what they would think of me I was worrying about like constantly analyzing their perception and their energy and really that makes me kind of sucking off of them without realizing it you know like being a bit of a vampire there myself and I didn't realize that that's what I was doing but sometimes you can jump into other people's auras and energy fields and constantly siphon their energy without actually being conscious of it and it's not necessarily in a way of like let me drain you and let me feed off of you like it's not necessarily that you want their energy or that you want their support and their whatever it can sometimes be that you're worrying so much about them that your focus is constantly on them and you don't realize that you're over there in their space instead of focusing on your own you know and you're giving your power away to them essentially But when you call your energy back and you come back to yourself and start focusing on yourself and your own soul mission and your own energy, your own authenticity, your own belief system and what it is that you want, then you're calling your energy back and you're 
shifting your focus back to yourself and getting it up out of their space, you know? So boundaries are so, so important when it comes to authenticity because how are you gonna know what's yours and what's somebody else's if you don't have boundaries? Like, you seriously need to be able to establish yourself and who you are and what you want and what you need and what your beliefs are and all of that stuff so that you can put the boundaries up and be like, wait a minute, I feel sadness right now. Is this my sadness or is this somebody else around me that's feeling sad? And then you can actually determine the difference between what's yours and what's not. And not just what somebody else is in the room, but like on a collective scale of like, what's the collective theme right now? Am I tapping into that? Or is this actually my energy? Is this actually my emotion and my thoughts and my beliefs? Or is it the collective belief system that I keep tuning into, you know? And that's another part of energy work and shadow work as well, is being able to determine the difference between energy fields and your own belief system so that you know what you need to work on and what you just need to release because it's not even yours in the first place, you know? And a lot of times societal beliefs are not even ours. You know, we've taken them on from childhood and from young ages and then we keep clinging on to them as if they're our own when really they're actually not they're other people's they're what other people have told you and then you've started to believe them because you've just heard them so much and then you've started repeating them to yourself and now you've taken it on like it's yours but originally it wasn't if that makes sense so yeah when it comes to authenticity and what's blocking you from your authenticity sometimes we be enmeshing with people and be up in other people's space and allowing them in our space and then we don't know who the hell we are you know so i highly recommend (laughs) having some boundaries and trying to figure out what's yours and what's not and what you want and what you don't okay so let's actually read these cards now so we've got no wait postpone pause say no We've got soul family, call in your tribe, you don't have to do it alone. We've got mirror, who or what is triggering you. And we've got Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. Oh damn, okay, okay. So when it comes to authenticity, well, mirror is a huge one, first of all. But also, so we've got soul family and we've got mirror, which I quite like because you could either have like... A mirror, this is why I called my brand Elemental Mirror and this podcast Elemental Mirror because the universe and the elements, it's all your mirror. Do you know what I'm saying? And things get reflected back to you and then you have to decipher what the hell the message means and what is yours and what is collective and all of this stuff, you know? So we have mirror, who or what is triggering you? Okay, let's just rein it in a second to decipher this message you are being divinely divinely guided okay we have akasha here your guidance is divinely guided so not only are you guided but the guidance that you receive is also divinely guided i just love that phrase that is so cool but on your journey and on your path everything that you do and everything that you want is being divinely guided like you can feel the little nudges you can feel the little intuitive hits the little gut instincts, you know, the little thoughts that pop up without you realising it or without you consciously trying to make it happen. And we are being guided along a path all of the time. But for me, the number one thing I feel like we're always being guided towards is back to ourself, you know? Like, it's one thing wanting to create everything here in life like we want to create the best life that we can we want to manifest our dreams and live in abundance and have all of this money and material gain and you know like we want to have incredible family and all of this stuff and our soul family which is another card pulled here but at the core of that is you at the core of that is your authenticity, you know, like at the core of that is everything that you are and everything that you came here to be and everything that you want and everything that you don't want and everything that you do and don't like about yourself. Like at the core of that is you, is your true essence, is your spirit, is your soul. And you are always, always being divinely guided and called back 
back to that because actually it's your own higher self and higher aspects of you that are constantly calling you towards it it's calling you towards yourself and this is why I even film these videos to be honest is because like everything I say is from my own experience talking about my journey and myself but it ultimately brings you back to yourself does that make sense so it's like just everything in life is about the journey of self and we get to experience it through other people because we're mirroring each other because we're all one and we're all a fractal of source so what's blocking you from your authenticity is all of these external things that we keep piling upon ourselves you know like things that we take on different beliefs other people's opinions all of this stuff that we allow to just cloud our own essence and our own sense of self and when you strip all of that back you get back to who you are and for me like one of the ways that I like to do that is to literally sit and just breathe because my mind tends to run wild a lot and there's a lot of thoughts going on and sometimes I just have to literally go to the breath and allow myself to breathe in and out in and out and just close my eyes and let my like imagination wander and then eventually I start to hear the truth of what my soul mission is and the truth of what I want in life and the truth of how I actually feel in the present moment and all of the different things that are going on in my body and stuff you know like I think there's just so much distraction and so much survival mode and so much chaos that we can really get a bit lost and get very distracted and lose sight of our authenticity and lose sight of who we are and what we want and why we're here you know so I mean it's part of life don't get me wrong we're supposed to experience the mirror you know we're supposed to experience relationships and like being able to see ourselves through other people and through the different dynamics and through triggers and different things that you know like call up our belief system and make us have to look back at our shadow and stuff like it's all divinely orchestrated and an incredible opportunity but that doesn't mean that it's easy and it doesn't mean that it's always fun you know but at the core of that is who you are and what you came here to do and I mean this can be fun to be fair but like obviously it can take a bit of work and stuff but I really feel like the main thing that just like limits so many of us is caring what everybody else thinks and what we it's not even what they think because you don't even know what they're thinking but it's usually what we believe they'll be thinking like how we perceive what they'll be thinking you know like you don't actually know for certain but you're just imagining and thinking it and like going over and over ruminating on what you think they're going to be thinking of you you know and then it sends you in a downward spiral because it's just like such a negative icky space to end up in and that really does block you from your authenticity so ultimately the message that I want to say is that you have to allow yourself to be flawed to allow yourself to play to allow yourself to try things and just experience it and see what happens and let go of this inner resistance let go of this like constantly caging yourself and stifling yourself because you're worried about the external you know like you're never going to be able to live a life that you love if you're constantly worrying about what other people think of you because you're just going to sit there literally stuck like you will suffocate yourself and end up so just caged in I can't even think of words to describe it because I can just feel my hands going like this like Every time we allow all of this external noise to weigh us down, it's literally like carrying a heavy weight and you allow it to coat you and cloud you in all of these thoughts and judgments and things, then you're never going to be able to hear the truth of who you are. You know, the world needs you. You came here to be you for a reason. You came here with all of the things that you're passionate about and all of the, like, all of the things that you feel called towards and everything that you love and everything that brings you joy. You're here to experience so, so much more of that. 
And every time that you worry about what other people think, you're literally blocking yourself from who you are. You know, like I have to do it with myself. I have to check myself when I start comparing online and stuff of like, no, now you're going to the external. You're going and you're looking out there, but the answers aren't out there. The answers are in here. The answers and the truth of who you are and what you want and what you need and what you enjoy and what you love and all of these things, they're in here. They're not out there you know, like your heart already knows and your mind definitely knows too. It just likes to throw in extra thoughts here and there. So if we can calm it down and we can regulate our nervous system, then we'll be able to actually hear what those things are and get more clear on them, you know, because there's so, so much that you came here to do and came here to be and came here to share and express, but you really have to allow yourself to be flawed and allow yourself to be who you are unapologetically and just let that be, you know, like it's not going to be perfect, my video is not going to be perfect, my music's not going to be perfect and sometimes we end up being a little bit cringe and we end up being a little bit awkward and all of this stuff and that is okay, it doesn't matter what it is that you want to do or what industry or, you know, anything whatsoever, it's just simply about allowing yourself to be who you are and allowing yourself to be imperfect because you're never going to be perfect with it at all you know so let's just pull some more cards with this okay this one flipped over align your life what is not aligned or needs to change so again coming back to authenticity you know like when you block out the external noise and you begin to tune inwards and you start to hear your thoughts and you start to hear the stories that you're telling yourself and you may even want to journal with that to be able to see what the stories are you can look back over a period of time and you'll begin to read that certain stories repeat themselves in your journal and then you'll start to uncover what your beliefs are and through doing that you'll be able to look back and see what is actually aligned with your truth and with your mission and with what you came here to do and with who you are you know like what is aligned with everything that you want out of life and what isn't and what needs to change what needs to go what needs to leave what have you had enough of you know what are you done ruminating over and continuously living in a cycle of so Anna grandmother of Jesus seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan, again with align your life, you know, like I feel like that is kind of where this podcast has been going over the past um, few weeks is laying the foundation for your life, it's like it's stripping everything back, we're pulling all of it back to our core, you know, like we're doing the shadow work, we're looking at our belief system, we're getting clear on what our soul mission is, we're trying to evaluate our lives and the things that we don't like and the things that need to change and then we're able to actually choose what feels authentic and what doesn't and make those necessary changes, you know, but obviously certain changes are going to take time and stuff, but it's like baby steps, we're taking baby steps with this, of really stripping back our entire lives and trying to figure out what it is that we actually want, because you came here, I'm going to keep on repeating it, you came here with too much beauty like too much divinity too much magnificence you know the fact that your body exists the fact that your mind exists the fact that you are here the fact that your parents exist the fact that your child if you have a child exists the fact that all of these things were aligned and formed in certain orders and at certain correct timings you know for this to happen is such a small small chance and the fact that that happened for you and you're here in this life and you get to live it like it's just so incredible and so mind-blowing and stuff and yeah there's difficult things that happen don't get me wrong like people go through horrific horrific situations but like when you really strip it back to what you want now moving forwards there's just so many possibilities, there's so much that you could create for yourself, if only you would allow yourself to really block out that noise and get clear on who you are and what you want and what means something to you, what matters to you and yeah, just let go of everybody else because they're so irrelevant to your life, like you honestly will spend a lifetime 
being miserable if you continue to care what other people think more than you care about yourself and what you want and what you need, you know? Like, we can't necessarily completely stop ourselves from caring what other people think because I feel like that's a natural human thing is that we want acceptance and we want to belong. But when it gets to such a degree that you literally stifle yourself and you hold yourself back, then it's a problem you know, and this is something that I've experienced for quite a long time, is like, it can suffocate you so much to the point where you're completely miserable, like, how do we allow that to happen, where we care so much about everybody else's opinions that we ourselves become so miserable and unhappy with our lives, you know, and we end up choosing things that we don't even want, and that don't even matter to us, we don't even like, you know, like you're choosing these things because you care so much what other people think, that you're willing to literally self-sacrifice and make yourself deeply unhappy, and that is just not okay, so we are done with the people pleasing, we are done with all of that we need boundaries like the previous oracle card said we need some more boundaries we need to stop people pleasing we need to clear out the external noise oh my god these cards are flying out and we need to be able to set ourselves free oh we have the six of swords we've been moving away from so much bullshit that we have been clinging on Uh uh-huh we have been clinging to so much stuff to the point of suffocation to the point of belittling ourselves to the point of it becoming more of a lack mentality and more of a desperation and more of a low self-esteem type of situation I hate to say it but when you cling on too tightly out of fear and out of desperation, then you literally stifle yourself and you block your blessings, you know, and we have been blocking blessings for far too long, it is time to release the hold that we have over everything that we possibly could want, but also release the hold and the, um, like the grip, release the grip, that we keep holding on to all of these things that do not even serve us, you know, like it's time to release the grip on all of the things that make us feel like shit, all of the things that make us feel small, the things that block us from being who we are, it's time to release the grip from those things because who you came to be is so powerful and so needed and so important that holding on to these things is the opposite of what you even came here to do, you know? But also through this lesson of gripping, like through experiencing that life lesson, you will open yourself up to so much authenticity and to so much abundance and so much excitement and passion and joy because you're working through a difficult lesson that you'll feel really accomplished and proud of yourself when you get out on the other side, you know, it will actually be such an empowering experience once you allow yourself to go through the motions of it. Why am I marching right now? What the fuck? but honestly (laughs) I guess that is a part of the authenticity that we've been talking about but yeah this is just a quick little message because there is a lot that blocks us from our uh, authenticity and it's something that I have been doing a lot and I am done with that shit truly done so whether these episodes end up being an hour long or whether they only end up being 10 minutes I am just rolling with whatever happens because it's about being authentic and it's about expressing yourself however feels best for you in whatever way that is in whatever industry in whatever field whether that's with your family whatever it is it's just about being you okay no one else gets to be you, you came here one of a kind, you get to be you, so go shine on bright and allow yourself to just have fun with it and roll with it and yeah, I will see you in the next episode, I'm gonna go out for Valentine's Day, I'm gonna go to the cinema and yeah, I really appreciate you listening, I hope that you are doing well and having the best week, definitely check out the information below for links to everything about me, my music and everything else and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.